Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Ross, your instructor. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to find duplicates with conditional formatting. Today's question comes from Jerome in Argentina, one of my silver members. Jerome says, in Excel, you can show values in a column that are duplicates using conditional formatting, highlight cells, rules, duplicate values. Is it possible to do the same thing in Access? Well, yes, Jerome, it definitely is possible, although it requires a little bit more work. Let me show everyone else what you mean by how this works in Excel first. Okay, here I am inside of Microsoft Excel, and I've got a list of names here, first name, last name, and I want to see at a glance which ones of these names are duplicates. So I'm going to simply highlight the column. Under Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cells Rules, Duplicate Values, and you can see right away there, they show up in red, right? Fill, uh, uh, light red fill with a dark red text. Hit OK, and there you go. It's that simple in Excel. Unfortunately, access, you can do it, but it's not that easy. You have to first count up how many of those last names exist in that field, and then we can use that value to do some conditional formatting. So let me show you how it works now in access. Okay, I'm going to start with my blank customer contact database, and you can download a free copy of this template from my website. I'll put a link down in the description below the video. And in this database, I've got a customer list form right here. This is a continuous form, and I want to see which last names are duplicates. Well, first we have to create a query that has a count of how many times this last name shows up. And to do that, we're going to use the decount function. Now, if you've never used dcount before, it's very similar to dlookup. I'll put links to videos for both of those down below in the description. Go watch those first, then come back here once you have an understanding of how to use dcount and dlookup. So I'm going to close this. Let's go over and create a query. Create, query design. Got a lot of stuff showing up here. Let's close this property sheet. We don't need that. Here's my query right there. I'm going to add my customer table to the query. That's all we need. Now in here, I'm going to need the fields that I need to have inside of that customer list form, which right now I believe are just first name and last name. Let's take a look. ID, first name, and last name. Okay, so let's bring those fields into here. So we've got customer ID, first name, and last name. Now we need to put in the next column over here, a calculated field. And again, I've got videos on making calculated fields and queries. If you're not sure how to do that, I'll put links down below. But it's going to look like this. We're going to create a field called LN count colon. That's going to be equal to D count, and then inside of parentheses, inside of quotations, what are we counting up? The last name field, comma, from what table? Customer T. And what's my criteria? Last name equals the current last name. So it's going to be quote, 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 ampersand, last name, ampersand, quote, 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 quote. Now, if you don't understand why I've got all those quotes, again, I've got other videos explaining why this works. It's when you need double, double quotes inside of other quotes. Essentially, we have to say last name equals, quote, Rost, unquote, okay? And so these little double, double quotes in there become the opening quote, and these over here become the close quote, but I have to have all those enclosed inside of quotes. Again, watch that video for more explanation on how this works. But now I'm going to save this as my customer queue. And if I run this query now, go to data sheet view, you'll see I get a count over here for how many times this last name appears. Let's change one of them. Let's make this James Rost. Boom. Now you can see that goes to two. And if I click on this one up here, that'll update as well. Okay. That's the count of how many times this name appears in this column. Now I can use LN count in my conditional formatting. It's got to be in the underlying query in order for you to use it. So let's close this. Let's go back to this customer list. Now in the customer list, we're going to have to change the record source to the customer queue now, that query that I just made. Now that I've done that, I can use that LN count value for my conditional formatting. So click on last name, go to format, conditional formatting. Last name is shown up here. We're going to add a new rule. Down here, we're going to pick expression is. Now again, I've got other videos explaining what this expression is is. So go watch those videos first before you continue. What's our expression in here? Well, we're going to check to see if ln count is greater than 1. 
Make sure you put LN count inside of brackets, otherwise Access will put quotes around that looking for the actual value and LN count, and that's not what we want. Now, set whatever you want your format to be. Let's say I want them to be bright yellow. Hit OK. Hit OK again. Save it. Close it. Open it back up again, and there you go. Now, any last name that is a duplicate value will show up in bright yellow. Want to learn more about finding duplicates? In the extended cut for members, I show you how to put together a query where we can go through our customer table or any table you want and find duplicate records based on any number of fields that you want. So if you want to see all of your customers that have the same first name, last name, and state, or first name, last name, and address, or zip code, or email address, or any of those fields, whatever fields you got, I'll show you in this extended cut video how to put together a query that will show you, okay, customers 5 and 1 are duplicate values based on the fields you selected. We'll create something called a Cartesian product. So that's in the extended cut for members. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and other perks. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. But don't worry, these tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, and feel free to share it wherever you think it might help people who are interested in access. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to be notified every time I post a new video. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted. So if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link below to join my mailing list. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over three hours long, and you can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1, and that is free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. If you have a specific problem you need help with or you'd like to discuss having a database built for your needs, I do offer one-on-one -on -one consulting. Be sure to follow my blog and find me on Facebook, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.